Hmm. Ooh, pineapple. Ooh, Ooh pina colada. That's gonna be dangerous. <clears throat> Alright, I wanna try something. I hope this I hope this looks good. Alright, I hope that looked cool in slow motion, so. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Stranger Things season two, episode three. Episode three today. Fuck. Uh, Resident Evil. Climate change. Pollution. Okay, that looks kind of interesting. Might do that. Might do that. So in the last episode, though, all the boys they went trick or treating, and actually Maxine was like, "Hey, you guys, you losers, coming or not, whatever, are you coming trick or treating with me or not?" You know, and it's like, well, that was kind of after. Billy almost ran him over with his car. So, uh, you know, but now they're friends. So, now they're friends. And so that's how that relationship starts. Will's having more episodes, but he did open up to Mike about it. He's like, look, Mike, like, told him told him all about it. And he's like, don't tell the others. Just leave it with between us, you know. Mike's our boy. Mike's the boy. He, he's... We can trust Mike. And then Hopper was supposed to grab a bunch of candy, go watch scary movies with Eleven, but he got home late because he was investigating the pumpkin patch shit. But now he like he hurt her feelings all bad. And then at the end of the episode, she tried to reach out to Mike again because they haven't spoken in, in like, over a year. So, but she got close, but you know timing was just a little off, so he gave up and then he like literally walked right past her technically, and it's like ah that hurts. He, Bob kind of mentioned the joys. Oh, we should move to Maine, you know, because he has an opportunity there or something like that. And it's actually not a bad idea because maybe it's like, okay, if Will's far enough away, it might not bother him. You know, I think it bothers him because the gateway's open. That's why he's getting these visions again in these episodes. If he's far enough away, it probably won't bother him, but I just think it's because it's open. So if it's either closed or they're far enough away, he should be good. But I, I'm not entirely sure on that. It's just a just a theory and then nancy and steve kind of had a little a little drama between them because you know nancy went, they went to a party and nancy got super drunk and she opened up to steve she was like our love between us it's bullshit you know and it's like well she was super drunk so maybe she didn't mean it but when you are drunk you do say things that you're normally scared to say but when you're drunk you don't give a fuck you just say it that really hurts steve's feelings and then so he he walked out on her and then jonathan found her drunk and put her to bed like a good guy so i don't know maybe maybe steve and nancy break up and then nancy and jonathan kind of like got a thing going i don't know but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you wanna watch the full length and cut version of this reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. Oh yeah, and the episode ended with uh, Dustin checking his trash can and seeing some shit in it. We don't know what it is, they didn't show us. But he's obviously like tweaking about it. How, how, how was what? How was what? Oh, there's Muse. Scott. And in the last episode, I met, I said I think it's like, it's like a mini demigorgon or something. Like that's what it sounded like. It didn't sound like any fucking animal we know. Like, oh shit, he has it in his uh his gun, or whatever. With uh, a motor to make it look like I caught a ghost. Sorry, Yertle. Temporary <laughs> eviction, buddy. <laughs> Poor Yertle. Fuck is that? Ugh. What are you, little guy? Alright. It's cute right now, but it's gonna it's gonna go so bad. The thing's gonna get bigger and it's gonna be a fucking problem later. Sorry about that little guy. Ugh. I'm gonna call you D'Artagnan. Okay. D'Artagnan. Bro, it's already getting bigger. <gasps> yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Dude, just step on that now. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Hi. So that's it, huh? We're still not talking? Enjoy this triple decker ego extravaganza on my own. Oh shit, you got her there. 
God damn. Oh my god, focus. I know, you know the great thing about it? It's only 8,000 calories. <laughs> you visited him again last night? Yeah. You want me to go check on him? But it's too dangerous. Yeah, if he has to go, she can't. Friends don't lie. Uh, oh. You say soon on day 205. Uh, I'll say soon on day 326. Holy shit. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. God damn. damn. Someone's a little moody. Nah, but she's how old. She just wants to see Mike, and he just keeps pushing it further and further and further. It's for her safety, but. <sighs> what do you say, big guy? You want to go for a ride in the Bobmobile? <laughs> Bro. I'm, I didn't want this time. Oh, I beat the fuck out of <laughs> Face, and I said, go away. Go away! Oh. He was gone. Bro, you should have said you ran up on him and beat his fucking ass. Easy peasy. Just yeah, that's that's not gonna work for Will. It's a, li it's a little more complicated than that, but... 48, who had a nightmarish accident. Who had a brother named Ferb. I was driven completely through his head. Damn. At the time, this was known as the American Crowbar case, although it wasn't. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Clark. Jesus Christ, Dustin. He began to curse, using terrible words to bad Taylor. Dustin. Call flashlights, you dipshit. Oh, okay. Someone woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning. No, dude, that cop with the mustache is, is a fucking dipshit. All right, what do, what do you realize? Oh my god. No, I don't know. What do you realize? Why does he gotta kick the door? Uh, gee! It's dramatic. Oh shit, she's gonna leave the house. Yeah, play some young thug. I can see that bush from a mile away. See, you can step my mull up, I put that crack in my crack. There's gonna be a couple ground rules. Yep. Number one. Always keep the curtains drawn. Shake my head. <laughs> Two. Only open the door if you hear my secret knock. Yeah. Don't ever go out alone, especially not in the daylight. And she's breaking every single rule. She's just so sick of being stuck in the house. It's, like, it's almost been a year. Stuck of being isolated. Just, just sick of being isolated. <laughs> Stephen Billy playing basketball. Uh, he Steve that he's playing, huh? Then you turn bitch. Oh, just shut up and play the game. Ah, uh, how are you gonna let him do that, Steve? You can't let you can't let Billy do that, dude. Jesus, Billy. Where were you this morning? I missed the first period. Figured Jonathan would take you. Ooh. Because I was drunk. <laughs> And then he took me home. No. Bullshit and I'm pretty much everything. It's just bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Yeah. It's what? It's just bullshit too? Yes. Well, then tell me. <sighs> you love me. Tell him. Dude, we need you, man. That douchebag's killing us. Let's go. Bro, right. Bro, fuck off. Seems <laughs> like you're bullshit. Wow. Nancy couldn't say. Wow. Wow. <sighs> It'd be like that, Steve. You want to hold him? No. He doesn't want yeah, No, get, get that thing away from me. My question exactly. No good. That's where he is. Bro, go ask the teacher. He'll know exactly. It looks like something's moving inside of it. Ew. Yeah, it doesn't like the heat. Wait, that's what Will threw up? Oh my, no way. I mean, what Will threw up, it looked a little, it looked different. Maybe it's, maybe it's the same thing, but, or it's just giving him flashbacks of all of that, but dude, fuck. Yeah, it is from the upside down, though. Like, how, how do they not realize that? I guess they've never, none of them besides Will <clears throat> have been to the upside down, so. But it looked like Will recognized what the, what that was. I, I like 
like you so much. Simp. Not just you. Everything that comes with you. Simp. Something else I was gonna mention. Bro, why are you shaking? Why is his hand shaking so much? I just noticed this morning that my JVC was a little dinged up. <clears throat> well. What? He's scared. Oh, he got that on video? Holy shit. Okay. I swear to God, I will. I will kill them. That's what I love about <laughs> advantage of you know they rub your nose in it just a little bit more yeah maybe it makes you feel powerful it does because they're insecure and they want to feel better about themselves either dead or dying and that's a radius of over three miles and it all leads back to here mm, back to the laboratory it's because they open the upside down is spreading from this place from this lab bingo all right so so you're you're giving me orders now? Yeah. No. Fuck you. I keep convince me. Dude, fuck this. Fuck, fuck this guy. Yeah, he was upset. I mean, he was. No, he's really upset. Oh, Jonathan covering for Steve. Wow. But he was still worried about you. Wow. What if I did mean it? All this time. Yeah. I don't know, like this. Like there's this weight you're carrying around with you. It's, yeah, it's called guilt. You're responsible for this? They're dead. Do you really believe that? Yes and no. 50 50. Do you want to skip fourth period? Fuck yeah. What the hell is Eleven doing? I think it would be so sweet to say mother. Do I have a mother? Yes, actually, you do. Where is she? Uh, she's not around anymore. What? I thought she was. I thought that one girl, Hopper and Joyce saw, who she was in the wheelchair. I thought that was her mom. Maybe he's just saying that. I don't know. I think Eleven just wants a family, dude. School. Where is school? Oh wait, she's looking for the school. She wants to go find Mike. That's what she's fucking doing. She's gonna go track down and fucking get Mike. She is going to see her boy. It's blue, I think it's working. Just thinking maybe tonight we could <laughs> freak blue. <laughs> Fuck dude, that probably pisses Joy off. That makes her blood boil, bro. <laughs> what the fuck does she see? I can't see shit on that. <laughs> She's gonna outline it. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's gonna match what was drawing. Okay, I, how how would the camera pick up the what? the demon or whatever? It's, it's about D Oh shit! Well, you gotta tell him. You gotta tell him. But how could the camera pick up? I thought what we were seeing was just a, his his head. Not maybe that shit's out. Maybe that shit's not the upside down anymore. I'm really sorry, Mr. Clark. It was just a stupid prank. What the hell are you doing? We need to go. Yeah. Right now! Yep. Oh, I feel bad for Mr. Clark now. He just feels blown off. Screw it. A little shit can skate on. Wow, Billy. Call her that. What? Sister. She's not my sister. Oh, she like a stepsister? And he doesn't want to say real sister? Hello? Guys, come on. Can I come in yet? No! <clears throat> Will saw something that looked like dart last year? Kind of, but there was no tail. Okay. It's not right. true sight gives you the power to see into the ethereal plane. Okay. Maybe they're real. Maybe Will can somehow see into the upside down. Oh fuck. We have to take him to Hopper. I agree. No, no way. If we take him to Hopper, Dart's as good as dead. Maybe fuck Dart. Are you kidding? Me? Is it doesn't automatically mean that he's bad. That's like saying just because someone's from the Death Star doesn't make them bad. Oh, <laughs> God, he's fucking huge! Oh, oh, his legs. He has his four legs now. No, Mike did the right thing. Bro. <laughs> Don't hurt him! Don't you hurt him! No, Dustin, I'm sorry. I'm fucking stomping on that thing. Oh, oh, oh. I, uh... I need to tell you something. Something about Bart. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I, uh, 
I haven't been honest with you. Lord. But I, I can't tell you here on the phone. Meet me tomorrow. Forest Hill. Oh, but oh, they're trying to draw them out because they know they're listening. I just need you to trust me, please. Well, yeah, they're tapped in with Bar uh, Barb's mom's lines. So, okay. So they're trying to draw them out. And... I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> Fuck you. Girl, Murray was going on about the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, now... Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. Stay where you are. Do not move. Fuck. And then he heard it, too. Is that Mike's bike? Ah, oh, so many memories. Oh, she's getting her boy. Oh, this is gonna be good. Where'd you go, you little bastard? <laughs> so close. Oh, she went the other way. Anything? <laughs> Lucas. And Claire. I'm so sorry. I, I was Lucas, why would you do that? Ooh. He thinks it's dart, but I think that might be eleven. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah! Oh, it's just Max. This is the boys' room. Yes, yeah, sir. So you should go home. Damn. How can I hate you? I don't even know you. Yeah, but you don't want me in your party. Correct. Why not? Because you're annoying. Oh. Al, someone. No one. Oh, wait. Is... No one. She was in our party a long time ago. Is Al gonna hear him say this? Zoomer. Mind blowing. Oh, come on, you know you're on the list. Oh, Al's gonna see him with another girl. Oh, no. Come on, just stop. It's a simple question. No, it looks like they're like flirting. Ah. Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. She's jealous. She's jealous. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm pulling on my board. I know that sounds crazy. Oh, that hurt 11, though. Oh? Ah, oh, but. But we'll know. We'll know. Oh, look at that. Look at those eyes. He knows. Fuck. Come on. Fuck. That's great timing. It's amazing timing. Yes, hi Doris, it's Joyce. Uh, Joyce Byers. Uh, Fuck you. Just saw him leave for the day. Maybe AV was canceled? What? Would you like me to- <laughs> Oh God. Will should not be alone. Oh, he found it though. Bro, focus. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm I'm probably running too, but this is gonna trigger something for Will. Fuck. Mike said okay, he might not be seeing might not be having flashbacks. Oh he's like jump so he's probably jumping in the upside down in real time. You're okay. Dustin, do the right thing. God damn it. Fuck me this time. I didn't run. No, bro, that's not gonna work. I mean, I love the courage, Will. I love the courage. Fuck. Wait! Fuck, oh fuck, what the fuck? Just like that. Wow, wow. What the fuck was happening to him right there? Okay, well. well dude, Bob got Will killed. Bob, it's Bob's fault. 100% Bob's fault. Fuck. <laughs> wow.
Alright, so that was Stranger Things, Season 2, Episode 3. Eleven got sick of being stuck at home. She said, fuck this, I can't take 326 days of being stuck at home. I think that's how much she was in. And she just said, fuck this, I'm going out. I'm finding Will. I'm finding my boy. And she did find him at the school, but then she, he, she saw him talking to Max. And it just looked really bad. It just looked like, oh, he already found a new girl. And that just really hurt Eleven a lot, you know? And it's like, fuck, bro. Fuck. Like, ugh. Hurt her feelings a lot. So now when Will finds her, like, when they finally do reconnect, Will is going to be like, Eleven, oh my god, I missed you. And she's like, bro, get the fuck away from me. And then Mike's going to be like, no, bro, I promise you, I hate this bitch. <laughs> you know, but it kind of seemed like Mike was like, okay, they had like a good moment right there to where it's like, okay, like, he's like, okay, I don't actually hate you. Like, you're not as annoying as I thought, you know? So they're going to become friends. Nothing more, just friends, I think. But it's just like, Eleven's going to be like, nah, bro, you found a new girl. Fuck you. And it's just like, fuck, dude. And then I think Mike is definitely right about what he said. Okay, what if Will's not getting flashbacks and it's just, it's actually happening in real time. So I think Will's going back and forth from the upside down into real life and he has no control over it. And at the end right there, what the fuck was happening? Like, okay, so it went, it took him over it inside he's possessed so it's like mm. and bob i it's bob's fault bob got him killed bro like bob 100 percent got him killed right there it's like i get was i get what bob was trying to do he's trying to help well out but it's like bro i mean and bob bob doesn't know like it's not the same exact thing he can't it's not a dream he's having it's like this is real shit bob okay but then nancy and jonathan okay so they called they called barbara's mom because they knew her phone line was tapped right and they're trying to i think i don't really think they're trying to lure out bob's mom they're trying to draw out the people listening and they're gonna do some shit with it i have no idea what and that thing dart bro dude they we gotta kill dart we have to kill him he needs to be put down immediately we need to literally just fucking stomp on him but dustin's obviously protecting him because dustin has that emotional attachment to dart shit's heating up bro shit's heating up so that was stranger things season two episode three comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video i like the video and thanks for watching